everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Feathers Ear Warmer which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a super plush and super cozy ear warmer worked in the popular feather stitch. Today for the tutorial I'm using this scarfy yarn by Lion Brand. It's a bulky weight uh, wool acrylic brand blend blend yarn and uh, you're going to need about 110-120 yards of this bulky weight yarn. You're also going to need a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and links to these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description you will find a direct link to the free written pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com this is the seventh pattern in the midwinter crochet along. Uh, so coming up soon, we're going to be also making a matching beanie and cowl. So you can keep an eye open for those. Thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. If you happen to make one of these ear warmers and share it on social media, be sure to give Rich Textures Crochet a tag. I would love to see it. Our ear warmer today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. And your foundation chain for the adult size will need to be a total of 60 chains. Now if you would like to change the size of your ear warmer, you will need a foundation chain with a multiple of two stitches. There's 20. Thirty, forty, fifty. And 60. And for these twisted ear warmers, I always like to add an extra inch in the circumference just because your twist is going to take up some of that length. So once you've worked your foundation chain, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each stitch all the way across. At the end of this row you're going to have a total of 59 stitches. At the end of row 1 you're going to chain 1 and turn your work. Your chain 1 does not count as a stitch. For row 2 half double crochet into that first stitch chain one, skip the next stitch and half double crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one and half double crochet into the next stitch. At the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. For row three, we're going to start working some of our feather stitch pattern. We're going to start the, off the row by working one half double crochet into the top of the first stitch. We're then going to work a beginning feather stitch by yarning over inserting your hook into the next chain one space 
yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over once again and now working over top of that chain stitch and into the stitch directly below insert your hook yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll want to bring this loop up fairly high. You're then going to yarn over one more time and insert your hook into the next chain space. Yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all seven loops. That's your beginning feather stitch. We're going to continue working feather stitches all the way across. So chain one. For your next feather stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain space as the last part of your last feather stitch. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, working over top of that chain stitch, insert your hook into the stitch uh, directly below it, two rows below, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain space, yarn over, draw up a loop. Seven loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all seven. That's your second feather stitch made. Chain one. You're going to continue working these feather stitches all the way across. When you come to your final stitch, work a half double crochet into that final stitch. At the end of row three, I'm just working my final feather stitch. Chain one and then half double crochet into that final stitch. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. Now for the next four rows, so rows four, five, six, and seven, we're going to continue working feather stitches. So chain one, half double crochet into your first stitch, and you're then ready to begin working the feathers. So yarn over, this time we're working into the chain spaces in between our feather stitches. So insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, Yarn over, insert your hook this time just into the chain space. You're not working into the tops of any stitches, just into the chain space. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain one space. Yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through all seven. Chain one, continue working your feather stitches all the way across. And this is for row four. I'm going to work across to the end of the row and then I will show you just where to work your final feather stitch so that you don't lose stitches as you go. So when you've come across here at the end of row four, you've worked a feather stitch, you still have a little bit of space here to work. So what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that same space as the last feather stitch. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the space down below. Yarn over, draw up a loop. Yarn over and this time you're going to insert your hook into the space 
between the last feather stitch and your half double crochet stitch. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through all seven, chain one and half double crochet into your final stitch. That way you're going to keep your sides nice and even. Chain one, turn your work and go ahead and work three more rows of the feather stitch. That will bring you uh, to the end of row seven and you can meet me back here. At the end of row seven, finish with our half double crochet stitch, chain one and turn your work and for row eight we're actually going to work one more row of feather stitches. So half double crochet in that first stitch, then work your first feather stitch and continue working your feather stitches all the way across. At the end of row eight, work your half double crochet in the final stitch, chain one and turn your work. At the end of row eight, chain one, turn your work. We're now going to work one final row of single crochet stitches and you're going to single crochet into each stitch. So starting with your half double crochet and each chain stitch. So I'm not going to work in the spaces. I'm going to work in this chain stitch all the way across. So into each stitch, the top of our feather stitch, and then into each chain stitch all the way across. At the end of your row nine, you've singled crocheted in each stitch all the way across. You're going to fasten off leaving a little bit of a long tail. Weave in any other ends that may be on your ear warmer. And we're then going to use the long tail to sew the twist into the ear warmer. So taking your ear warmer, you want to fold it over so that your two shorter ends meet. With this stitch, there's no right side or wrong side really, except for with these single crochet stitches. So if you uh, are particular about which direction these are facing in, you want to make sure that your right side is facing up. And then you're going to fold over these two shorter ends and fold them so that they make a U like this one. You're then going to slide the two pieces together, alternating the ends so like this is A, B, A, B. So you'll want to just kind of fold them in together. Uh, then taking your yarn, and actually I probably should have done this before I did the fold, but uh, place it on your yarn needle. Like so. I'm going to make sure my fold is still together. And now working through all four thicknesses, you're simply going to sew in and out through the end here. So I'm just working my way going across back and forth. Make sure that your needle is picking up all four of your edges. 
so that your twist folds nicely. Keep going across. When you come across to the end, you'll want to secure it. And then weave it in. Fasten off. And then turn your ear warmer right side out. You may need to fiddle with the twist a little bit, but that's all there is. Your feathers ear warmer is complete. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. Don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.